Dubai has many unique features, thanks to which it is famous all over the world. The high skyscrapers, giant fountains, modern water parks, and even ski resorts among the hot sands of the desert. The symbols of this emirate are also artificial islands, the construction of which began in the mid notice These are the palm trees of Jumeirah, Jebel Ali and Deira, as well as the archipelagos world and universe. However, these facilities have become a big disappointment for Dubai, the builders, and for Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid himself. The project has not been completed to this day. Some objects are indefinitely frozen, and others are completely cancelled. Let's try to figure out why this happened and what the future fate of the islands is. An ambitious project Over the past decades, the United Arab Emirates has developed at an accelerated pace due to oil production. This unprecedented source of income has enabled the state to implement ultra-modern, stylish and impressive in its scope projects the cost of which is estimated at billions of dollars. In addition to prestige, they pursued a purely practical goal – to attract more tourists and potential investors who would be interested in first-class real estate. The idea of building artificial islands in the coastal waters of Dubai was also based on pragmatic considerations. The coastline of the Emirate of Dubai is only about 72 kilometers, and tourists and wealthy people who buy apartments mostly prefer to live by the sea. The ideal option is accommodation in the central part of the resort with a sea view. The sheikh decided to finance the construction of artificial islands in order to increase the length of the coastline and hence the land of beaches with adjacent buildings. The unusual shape of the islands was both a tourist attraction and a means of creating a new coastline up to one and a half thousand kilometers long, making it possible to build new bungalows. For the construction of archipelagos, Mohammed ibn Rashid even created a state-owned company, Nakhil Properties. The plan was to sell land plots and part of the islands entirely to private developers after construction and to build up the rest with hotels, villas and shopping centers. Difficulties in implementation Sand from the desert was not suitable for the construction of islands, as it turned out to be too fine and loose, easily washed away by water. Therefore, it was decided to construct special sea vessels to extract soil from the bottom of the Persian Gulf. To prevent new land areas from being washed away during storms, it was necessary to build breakwaters of rock around the archipelagos, about 2 meters high. The breakwaters greatly worsened the natural circulation of water, so the designers had to artificially improve it so that the base created by the builders, especially between the branches of palm trees, did not begin to bloom. This was only partially successful. Tourists visiting the only completed Palm Jumeirah still periodically complain of an unpleasant smell from the water. On the islands, the issue of providing residents with modern utilities was fully thought out, but it was implemented only in the Palm Jumeirah. The owners of the few built-up islands in the world's archipelago are forced to use diesel generators and independently solve issues related to the septic tank. The idea of creating artificial islands almost immediately found its opponents in the face of environmentalists. They were alarmed by such a strong human impact on the nature of the Persian Gulf and warned about the possibility of the disappearance of entire ecosystems due to changes in the current, increased water heating and a significant change in the bottom relief. Economic failure By the end of 2006, 75% of the properties on the Palm Jumeirah were commissioned. At that time, 500 families already lived in the archipelago. Jumeirah is at the same time the smallest project among artificial islands and the only one that can be called successful with some stretch. The construction of the rest was supposed to be completed a few years later, but then the global economic crisis broke out in 2008. It hit the UAE particularly hard. If in June 2008 a barrel of oil cost $140, by December of the same year, it cost only $40. This led to major cuts in a number of local companies, investors and expats left in Emirates in a hurry, and after that, housing prices also fell. A sharp decrease in demand and the cost of real estate in Dubai has led to huge losses among developers. Those who by that time had acquired land on the islands for development were left with a broken trough. 
The objects under construction were still far from completion, and there were no funds to continue the construction. By November 2009, Nakhil Properties was on the verge of bankruptcy, and only a $10 billion lifeline from the Moscow authorities allowed the developer to stay afloat. Let's summarize the results. The recession after the crisis dragged on for a long time, and in 2014, oil prices fell by about half again. As a result, today we have the following. The smallest poem, Jumeirah, is fully completed, but has problems with ecology, transport accessibility, traffic jams, and water circulation in the base. The world archipelago of 300 islands is completely filled out, but the number of built-up islands can be counted on the fingers. The archipelago universe did not even begin to fall asleep. The project was cancelled in April 2015. Two much larger palm trees, Jabal Ali and Deira, are only partially filled out, 